They send you here for life. That's exactly what they take. Most people don't aim in life to go to prison, that's for sure. They are places criminals are sent to for breaking the law in one way or another. What the aim of prison actually is, is debated. Some see it as a place to lock away criminals so they can't get into more trouble and be a threat to society, while others see it as a place where people can learn from their mistakes and hopefully come out a better person. Whatever the case, it should come as no surprise that prisons have garnered an awful lot of nicknames for themselves. This makes sense with the long history of criminals creating slang words so they can speak in public and be able to avoid the ear of the law. So let's look into some of these slang words for prison and figure out where exactly they came from. But the first thing you really ought to point out in all of this is what's exactly the difference between prison and jail? Well, the two terms can be used interchangeably, but there is a true difference between the two in some nations. Jails tend to be smaller cells where people are withheld while awaiting trial, and prison is the larger building they are housed in once it has been decided that they are being sent there. Though, like I said, these can be used interchangeably too. Prison as a word came into English from the old French prison, meaning captivity. Jail, however, is a form of the Latin jambolia, I think I pronounced that right, which means cage, which makes sense. Why don't we first talk about the nickname of the clink? This is a term that can be used for all prisons, but it actually has its origin with one prison in particular, that being the clink prison found in London. This original clink was first opened in the 12th century, and it was used all the way until the 18th. This is a seriously old prison, and it's even thought to be one of the first prisons in England. While it is no longer an actual prison, its legacy lives on as its name has become linked with prisons in general. Though, why was this one called the clink in the first place? The term is believed to be onomatopoeic in origin, with the clink's name coming from the clinking sound the bars of the cells would make as they were being closed in on you. This is just a theory, however. But if you want to see the clink for yourself, you can, as it's now a museum slash tacky tourist attraction. You know what? I, I never really got the idea of going to go visit a prison or kind of macabre tourism in general. Like, I don't want to go somewhere that's sad. That's just me though. I know a lot of people are into it. A lot of people love going seeing sad places, but... I don't know, I guess there's some historical importance to it, but I don't know, I've always found it a bit odd to go visit a prison, but that's just me. A nickname for prison I wasn't really familiar with before this video was Who's Gal? I hadn't heard this one before, and that's probably because it's more popular in the USA than anywhere else. Though, while being from the States, this name for prison isn't actually English in origin. It is instead a corruption of the old Spanish word Juzgado. Probably your pronunciation there. My Spanish isn't what it used to be. It never was anything anyway. Let's carry on. Uh, this would have been brought over to the States via Mexico. This Spanish word means court or tribunal or simply just jail. With there being so much of a link between American English and Mexican Spanish, it's no surprise to see that this originally Spanish term found its way into the English language. Before we continue, I want to say a huge thank to my most recent patrons. Say thank you to new patron Scott Huish. Apologies about pronunciation there as well. Huish? Huish? Let me know how to say it down below if you're all it well watching Scott, but uh, thank you anyway. Uh, Patreon is the best way to financially support Name Explain, and donating just $1 a month gets you ad-free videos, a chance to say what names I'll explain, an exclusive monthly newsletter, and your name at the end of these videos. All of that can be found at patreon.com forward slash name explain, which will be linked down below. Conversely, if you want to just make a one-time donation, you can leave a super thanks directly in the comments section of any of my videos here on YouTube. They help out tremendously too. Thank you. Anyway, carrying on we have pokey. Pokey is quite a fun little word, so it's odd it's become linked with somewhere distinctly unfun, like prison. This one is seemingly from American English too, and is of unknown origins. The leading theory, however, is that it may come from the word of pokey, which is a term for a poorhouse. Poorhouses and prisons became linked with one another due to the fact that many people were in poorhouses ended up in prison. We don't know where this term of pokey came from initially for poorhouses, however, and for the record, a poorhouse is a government-run building to provide housing for the poor, not just the generic term for houses where poor people lived. Yeah, like, poorhouses with this whole thing, or workhouses, I think they were known as as well. I don't think they really exist anymore. I don't know, let me know if I'm wrong about that, because I'm always interested in you guys telling me things. One I also want to mention that sounds similar to pokey is the chokey. 
This is used more specifically for high security prisons and comes from Hindi roots with their word of Kauki, meaning a lockup, most likely emerging in English through Indian immigration to the UK. I had to mention this one because it's the term Mrs. Trunchbull uses for the place she locks up the bad kids. Well, not even the bad kids, just any kid really. Straight to the chokey, man. I, I love the first. I've never read the book. I'm a big old doll fan, hence the crocodile tattoo there. But um, yeah, I've never actually read Matilda as a book. I saw the musical recently, and that was good fun. But the first Danny DeVito one, mm, perfect. I love that stuff. What a great film, and like. She swings that kid by her pigtails. Mental. Mad stuff. Anyway, let's carry on. Another one I hadn't heard of before was Calaboose. This is another one of Spanish origins and most likely entered American English the same way Gal did. It is simply a corruption of the Spanish Calabozo, meaning dungeon, which is fitting with the whole dungeon vibe prisons tend to give off. In fact, the dungeons and prisons are the same thing. It's somewhere you'd lock up someone, so yeah, I guess dungeons were like the old school prisons. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Do people want to go to dungeons these days? I don't know, certain people probably do, and that's, you do you. And to wrap this up, let's look at some of the nicknames from pretty obvious origins for prisons. This includes the slammer, due to the slamming of prison doors. The big house, due to the fact that it's a big house of sorts, I suppose. The stony lonesome, because prisons tend to be stony and, well, pretty lonesome and the grey bar hotel because of the grey bars of the cells and because they're kind of like hotels in a weird way i suppose oh, i'm really tempted to start singing electric six grey bar but i'm gonna resist because i might get demonetized for copyright infringement so yeah i'm not gonna do that no so close but no for somewhere people really don't want to end up prisons sure have a lot of names let me know about any other interesting prison names I might have missed out on, especially in some other languages. Also, please share the topic down below we could cover in next Monday's Name Explain video. It could be about literally anything, and the topic can be as niche or broad as you like. I will then choose three of those topics and place them in a poll for my patrons to vote on. Then the winner from that poll will be the topic covered in next Monday's Name Explain video. You can vote in that poll as well as enjoy many other great benefits by visiting patreon.com forward slash name explain which will be linked down below and by donating just one dollar a month thank you anyway that's more than enough for myself but don't forget to go follow me on instagram my name explain yt and don't forget to join the facebook page friends of name explain we can chat with myself and many other name nerds okay all take care True begin, they are places criminals attend to. <laughs> Jails tend to be smaller cells where prisons. <laughs> Gotta say some Spanish here. Juzgado. 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 Between American English and it. So again, most likely. Bleh. The stony lonesome because. because bleh, 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 bleh. It's weird how some words just don't work after the other in my mouth. Bleh. That was a tough one. Why oh, is that so hard? You think I'd be good at this right now? But I'm not. What's my off button? I've, I've lost my off button. That's off. I'm an ember. My mind's gone blank.